Let's eat the rice flowing from the river in the hearth. Samurai Junjiro Channel. Hi, I'm Samurai Junjiro, born and raised in Japan. In this video, I'm going to introduce you to a restaurant where you can eat food cooked in a hearth. It's a rare restaurant where the food is brought in from the river that floats through the restaurant. The mansion looks like something out of a comic book or movie, so please stay tuned. Now, let's get started. I was displaying pictures of the river fishing I went last time. The river water was so clean, it was fun. The river reminded me of something. There's a restaurant that serves food from the river, so I'll introduce it to you guys. This time, we are heading to Kamiyugi Hachioji City on the west side of Tokyo. It's a region with a lot of rural nature in Tokyo. I see a signboard. We are almost there. Here we are. This is Hinatoriyama, the restaurant where food flows from the river. It's a great gate. This restaurant has a history of over 50 years. It's a popular restaurant that many celebrities visit. There's a water wheel when you go through the gate. The restaurant is in the back of the water wheel. You can feel the atmosphere of Japan, right? After completing the reception, let's go through the courtyard to the private room. The courtyard is also very luxurious. It's like a manga world, right? There's also a big water wheel here. It looks great during the day, but it's even better at night. The buildings look so beautiful, lit up by the light. It's like something out of a movie, isn't it? It's not often you get to see scenery like this. Now, let's get into the private room. This is the room we'll be in. There's a hearth in the middle of the table. We'll be grilling all kinds of food here. I'm so excited! Actually, the charcoal used in this restaurant is a high-grade charcoal called Binchotan. It is made at the higher temperature than ordinary charcoal and has less smoke. It's a special charcoal that keeps the charcoal smell out of the food. It's easy to sit down because the bottom of the table is a digging step down. 
When you open the back door, the river is flowing. The food flows from here. First of all, let's eat a hot pot using the hearth. I can't wait to see how it turns out. The food is coming down from the river. Let's eat salad and wait until the pot is ready. It's a Japanese style dressing made with onions and soy sauce. The pot is ready. It's a hot pot of tofu, which is a specialty of this restaurant. It's made with tofu from Hokkaido soybeans. I can smell the gentle aroma of soy milk. It's a special soup that combines soy milk and Japanese style soup stock. Tofu is very soft and sweet. It's so much smoother than the tofu you get at other restaurants. Here comes the food. Let's grill these ingredients in the hearth. There's a lot of vegetables, meat, and fish on it. Let's start cooking. It's a sea bream. It's a chicken thigh. Let's grill some shiitake mushrooms and shrimp. I can't wait to see how it turns out. Let's eat this food until it's dumb. This is konyaku with sweet miso. Konyaku is a Japanese ingredient that has been attracting worldwide attention as a healthy dish these days. It's got a plump texture and the miso is sweet. It's starting to cook. Let's eat the tsukune first. It's a dish of minced chicken rolled and skewered. It's crispy on the outside and juicy on the inside. Next, let's try the chicken thighs. Grilling over charcoal makes all the difference. It's crispy and fluffy. It's really delicious. This is a whole roasted green pepper. Let's eat with sweet soy sauce flavored sauce. I don't usually eat green peppers, but I was surprised at how delicious it was. It's as sweet as fruit. Let's eat shrimp next. 
it's hot, but be patient and peel it. It's a big shrimp. The flesh is firm and plump. The saltiness is just right. Next, let's eat sea bream. The outside is crispy and fragrant. The meat is fluffy too. You can only taste this when it's grilled in the hearth. The soy sauce flavored sauce goes really well with it. Next, let's try the sausage on the bone. The skin is crispy. When you bite into it, the gravy comes pouring out. Everything tastes better when it's cooked on the hearth. The last dish came from the river. I ordered two kinds. Let's try from here. It's udon noodles cooked in soy sauce and dried bonito soup stock. You can smell a little pepper. The noodles are thick and chewy. The soy sauce soup stock soaks right through. The last dish is this. It's called chasoba and it's made by mixing green tea with soba noodles. It smells so much better than regular soba. It's a beautiful green color. Let's eat it with soy sauce and dried bonito soup stock. The noodles are so silky that they go down your throat very smoothly. It's a special soba that you can even taste the green tea. Let's try it with wasabi and green onions. The texture of the green onions and the spiciness of the wasabi add a nice accent. Everything tastes better when it's cooked in the hearth. I didn't realize how much cooking in the hearth would change things. Let's come back again. Well, this time, in this video, we went to a restaurant where you can enjoy food from the river in the hearth. But how did you like it? Was there a dish you wanted to try? If there's a dish you liked or a restaurant you'd like us to introduce in the future, please let us know in the comments. There's still a lot of delicious food in Japan that you don't know about, so I'll introduce it in another video. Well, that's it for today. See you in the next video.